Alrighty guys, so we're already starting off the episode with like a quick cutscene just out. one day after the full moon. Or two days, sorry. What are you doing out here? When mom died protecting me, no one believed the truth. To this day, they say she died in an accident that didn't even happen. That's why I wanted to clear the record. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. They said he died in some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with mom. I mean, and technically now, he did die in a violent crime, right? Behind. Just like always. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. But you still have your life. <sighs> I'm not here to bring you back. You can waste away here if that's what you want. But if you still have the will to fight, then come back and stand on your own two feet. I know that. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I needed something to hate. To keep myself going. I couldn't face the thought of being alone, but that's exactly what happened. All this time, I've just been running away. <laughs> All right. I'm not running away. I'm not running away anymore. I swear it. Aragaki-san, I'll see this through to the end. Okay, everybody's getting these evolutions. Okay, this one looks lame. <laughs> What's your new theurgy? Revives party, fully restores allies HP and will reflect one attack. See, the only thing I don't like about him is just that his theurgy gauge increases when his SP is less than half. That Goodbye. doesn't make sense Mom. to me. I'll be okay now. It's already been a day. Yes, it has. So, where's Sonata-san? He said to leave Amada-kun alone, but maybe we should look for him. What do you think? So you agree with Akihiko, then? I can't just sit here! I'm going right now to... Amonokun! Thank goodness, I was so worried. You were? Amato, will you continue to fight? Yes, I'm done running away. That okay with you? Positive. It's all right, we can trust him. Please, don't scare us like that, okay? All right, I'll go and talk to the chairman. You should get some rest. Okay. What's happening? Is it about to be back to Strega? Oh, I don't know why I always do that. Hi. I always ask like what's about to happen, but I always forget it's, it's always after tonight. the full moon that he likes to come talk to us. Autumn? It'll be winter before you know it. You look a little tired. Did something happen? Bro, you, you know damn well. Not to me. I see. It's a good thing it wasn't you. In this world, people die every day. Until recently, I thought that was as normal as the changing of the seasons. But now, I understand why people mourn. For the first time, I have a friend. 
Lately, I've been remembering things more clearly. You recall the end I've spoken of? Some were calling it the fall as well. It's drawing closer each night. Can't you feel it? You and I are like kindred spirits. So, I wonder why I'm the only one who remembers. This is tearing me up. Could it be that you can't accept me for who I am? What are we, dead seven now? Or eight? I'm sorry if I wasn't making any sense today. Maybe it's the change of season, but we're still friends. That will never change. Well, I'll be going for now. Good night. This is just reflection results. We had the midterm, so I'm pretty sure I aged that shit. So we talked 10 again in this bit, but one just show off. <laughs> oh, I scored the highest. Bad. Let's go. I'm already maxed out there. That should have just went towards academics. This dude promised to give me a gift, so I'll go see what that gift is. You guys aren't going to see it, though. Oh, we got hit with this cutscene. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lint. Hey, are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? It's just... Aragaki Senpai. We know, we know. He, he, he died. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around, that nothing would ever change. But some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that, I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Are you changing schools? Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Yeah, she sounds like she don't give a single fuck. How's that? Uh, wait, transfer? Damn. <laughs> you're a weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. Damn. It'd be like that. You know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's Kichan. If only. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like right here? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to say, that's okay. I'm sure you've got your reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart to heart. 
am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I yeah, won't yeah, yeah, we get it. Because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. Come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want, I... Uh... I used to try and please everyone just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked, so... I always went along with the people around me, but I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them, but I like you, Fuka. Hey. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. Is her persona gonna evolve now? Because everybody's getting these persona evolutions. <laughs> You never had her so number? We can always talk, right? Thanks for being my friend. I'm kind of tearing up now. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now, Natsuki-chan. I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, and that's why my powers let me see others. Boom. But I guess there is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift the friendship I've always wanted. Let's go. You better be healed up. No more bandages. Oh, okay. The resolution of Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. Fuka's persona, Lucia, has given rise to Juno. Grants one random enhanced positive effect to all allies. There you are. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, what are you all doing here? It is unusual to find you up on the rooftop. Well, we didn't see you around, so we weren't sure if you were all right. I think I figured it out. Okay. I've made up my mind. I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given. This is what I've decided I want to do. Um, sure? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh, you sure you're all right? <laughs> oh, sorry. No one was here, so I figured it'd be okay. It's rare to see you here. 
Is it for the archery team? Yes, the teacher wanted a report. I see. That's a lot of responsibility. Oh, not really. It's nothing compared to what you have to do. Actually, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Senpai, what are you fighting for? Well, I... I guess you could say... It's my way of atoning for the past. In my case, I don't think I really have a reason anymore. I mean, I know the whole story about my father now. I guess I could still fix the mistakes he left behind, though. <sighs> Maybe I should have thought about this earlier, huh? But it took me this long to start questioning myself. That's understandable. It seems like everyone has their own reason for fighting. Well, defeating the shadows is probably a good enough reason, huh? What are you trying to say? I'm not exactly sure, but it's all gonna be over after the next full moon, so there's not much point in thinking about it. That's true. Once we put an end to this, we can go back to a normal high school life. At least that's the plan. The rest of the student council will be here soon. We can pick this up later, though, if you want. Oh no, that's okay. Thanks for listening. Alright guys, I'm just heading back to Tartarus just to save some lost people, but you know, they want to do the animation for the tarot card and I want you guys to see that. All current party members' maximum HP will increase by 8. Okay. All current party members' maximum SP will be increased by 5. Okay. That's nice. Fortune and uh, strength. Ah, he's visiting me again. Good evening. What up? It'll be a full moon again in just another week. Finally, this will be the twelfth ordeal. Yeah, Are like you ready? supposedly the last one we're supposed I to can't fight. I can't tell if time's been out of crawl or flying on by, but either way, a lot's happened, hasn't it? It's a bit soon to be reminiscing, though. How about I come see you once it's over? Be careful now. Something's happening. Ah, oh, Strega. There's something worth looking at from here. The moon is almost perfect. It'll be full in just three more days. So it would seem. I have no intention of relinquishing my abilities and living an empty life. To continue existing as we are or to die powerless. I hear you. I know how important this is to you, Takaya. To us, we can't afford to lose it. And besides... Jin? If the Dark Hour disappears, we might forget everything that happened. Won't we? I'd forget you and Chidori, the things we did together, our time at the facility. All of it, to me, that's a fate worse than death. I couldn't care less if that damned facility got erased from my memory. Having this uncontrollable power forced on us, watching everybody we knew disappear one by one. There's just one thing I refuse to forget. Back when I was trapped in that living hell, you spoke to me. Thanks to what you said, I learned how to keep myself going. Your words gave my life meaning to Kaya. If I forget that, I won't have any reason to be alive. Damn, bro, quit meat writing. It may not be much of a purpose compared to yours. It was just a couple of words, I know, but they meant the whole world to me. So I can't lose this fight either. Is that so? Hmm. Well then, why don't we find out together? Whom will fate elect to choose? Them or us. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we've been through so much over the last half year or so. Don't you think?
Felt short yeah, as hell. I guess it flew by. Hey, it was way better than just doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. <sighs> yes, that's true. Not a single thing we've done has been for nothing. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And it's been worth it. Sonata san. Two and a half years, are you still weak as hell, bro? Don't forget, we got to meet Koro-chan, too. Still, two and a half years is a long time, Sonata Senpai. Oh, wait, it's been even longer for I guess, hasn't it? I was in stasis for much of that time, so I haven't been operational for very long. Excuses. How about you, Kirijo Senpai? You got your start before Sonata-san, right? Hmm? Me? Yes. It was just me at first. Of course, Seas wasn't around back then, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you too? No. He didn't. I've been aware of the Dark Hour since I was a child. Once, my father's research team was ambushed by shadows while they were investigating Tartarus. When I witnessed the attack, I awakened to my persona. That's what happened? Apparently, I was the first ever to reliably control my persona. If that had never happened, then maybe none of you would be going through this right now. Senpai. Someone would have gotten involved eventually. It's not like we could just ignore what the shadows do to people. I suppose that's true. On the eve of the final shadow, I could feel a quiet passion from my friends. I sense a strong bond with them. Rank up for full. Tomorrow is our last operation, so make sure to rest up tonight. Show for show. Yeah, I don't need to see what he saw on his phone. He's just looking at the date. <laughs> I found it. It's at the south end of the Moonlight Bridge. The twelfth and final shadow. Hmm. So this is it. And as we expected, I'm detecting more Persona users nearby. Strega. It's Strega. They know this is their last chance. We expect it as much, but don't be careless. So, it's them. <laughs> Saves us the trouble of looking for them. You've all fought admirably thus far. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. Got it. Roger that. Of course. Final battle is here. The last shadow and Strago awaits us. This is serious. I should choose my team lineup carefully. It's going to be the same. <laughs> Does it show them like not selected? Okay, cool. Just making sure they're selected. <laughs> There's a girl. There she is. Yes. Mm. Yes. Everybody and their mama had to say let's go. Final battle is here at last, but first there are two powerful adversaries we have to confront at the south end of the Moonlight Bridge. What the heck? <laughs> what is this thing? There's something further I down there too. You know what is at stake today. Right, you, you guys see that in the far back? The shadows to prevent the disaster On the left? They bring. Yet, countless lives are lost each day, even without their intervention. The ability to use a persona is not in itself evil. You have no reason to forsake it. So, why not just admit it? You do not truly wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves in the pursuit of self-satisfaction. I don't think you truly believe that. You are foolish children indeed. Erasing the Dark Hour is the same as erasing yourselves. 
How can you not even conceive such a thought? Your imprudence is truly beyond comprehension. As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. It's time, Jin. What a bunch of fools. I can't stand to look at you. Fate shall decide which of us will remain. Well, I'm pretty sure fate is on our side. Why am I going first? Like, isn't it normally like someone else on my team going first? I don't even know what I want to use, honestly. Guess we'll do a decrease in their attack just to be safe. They got hella health. For the looks of it. I'll hit them where it hurts. Persona. You guys just don't know when to quit. He has a grenade? Now then, it is time for your judgment. That's good to know. Okay. Here's what I found. No weaknesses, great. Do I have anything that deflects it? Yeah. We'll just keep trying to poison, I guess. I'll have you cars still feel this. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna let us poison them or anything. Since he's buffing up the other guy, we might as well lower his defense to take him out faster. Got this crit. Damn, I did like nothing. <laughs> Like, didn't he, uh... No, he just resisted fire. Okay, cool. So we'll go with, uh... Wait, y'all can shift too? You're trying to hit me. <laughs> they can coordinate their attacks too? Right. Try not to let them target your weaknesses. Trying. <laughs> but uh, this dude could use ice and dark or something, right? I 
Let's see. Right now we got him out. Damn, I really don't have anything. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna keep you out this whole time. Their extra turns don't seem too crazy. Let me help you out. Over here. One six. Damn. Hi, <laughs> they they did that. Another crit. That did crazy damage. Wanted to show this one off to you guys. Holy crap! <laughs> that did a lot. <laughs> Grenade gonna blow up? Jin, you are going to pay for that. Are we though? How I move to strike. It appears you have more than just luck on your side. So be it. Evil smile. I think I had one that does it for all allies, yeah. got an almighty skill. But we definitely need to lower your attack. So that did a lot. with the same power and what difficult opponents they are look at how you squander your potential it's beyond comprehension Death to block stupid Got 
God damn. Is he going down with this? Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy 64k! <laughs> Everybody and their mama got levels. Increase all foes accuracy. Oh, that's gonna be nice. We're gonna replace poison mist when we get that. Oh, we still lost. So, us experiments can't even stand up to a naturally awakened persona. Experiments? For us. It's not so simple. Our powers weren't awakened naturally. We can't even use them without straining our bodies. Don't you remember what your dead pal was carrying? So you were giving Shinji the suppressants. You guys don't have the slightest clue what'll happen if the dark hour disappears, do you? Nope. It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But without the dark hour, even Persona users like us will... Mm -hmm. Jin... That's enough. Now then... Ordinarily, we would withdraw here. But that is not an option tonight. You better shoot this us. body, ephemeral though it may be, is worthless without my power. Oh, he's gonna let his uh, Persona Therefore, go berserk, right? I've only one choice. I shall prove my existence here and now. What are you doing? Don't be so reckless. Jin? Sorry, but I haven't forgotten what you said to me. You win. Go on and defeat the shadow. Maybe then you'll see what you've been fighting for this whole time. Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're gonna jump! I'd rather die than surrender to you! <laughs> Take a good look! This is how we live! They jumped! Well, more so fell. What the hell? Don't let it get to you. They chose how they wanted to go out. We're not done here yet. Our real target is waiting. Let's just focus on that for now. <laughs> they just said, fuck that shit. We don't care if they died. <laughs>